In this tutorial, we are going to look at different strategies we can use to multiply by 3. The first strategy we will look at is to skip count by 3. When skip counting by 3, it's often useful to have a picture to help us keep track of the numbers. So I see here I have 3 cherries, then 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and so on. There is one interesting pattern when you look at the multiples of 3. Once we get into our teens, if we start adding together the digits, 1 plus 2 equals 3. 1 plus 5 equals 6, which is also a multiple of 3. 1 plus 8 equals 9, again another multiple of 3. 2 plus 1 equals 3, which is obviously a multiple of 3. 2 plus 4 equals 6, again another multiple of 3. So that's an interesting pattern to keep in mind when you're skip counting by 3's. Another strategy is called double and one more set. For example, if I wanted to find the answer to 3 times 5, I could start by taking 2 times 5 and then adding another set of 5. 2 times 5 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, that means 3 times 5 is 15. Let's look at some more examples of this strategy. To find 3 times 4, I can take two sets of 4, which is 8, and add another 4. 8 plus 4 is 12, so 3 times 4 is 12. To find 3 times 8, I can take two sets of 8, which is 16, and add another set of 8. 16 plus 8 is 24, so 3 times 8 is 24. Let's look at it in another format. 3 times 6 would be the same as 2 times 6 plus 1 times 6. 2 times 6 is 12, and then I'm going to add another set of 6 on. 12 plus 6 is 18, so 3 times 6 is 18. To find 3 times 9, I can take 2 times 9, which is 18, and add another set of 9. 18 plus 9 is 27, so 3 times 9 is 27. And here's yet another way of looking at that same strategy. Since 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 5 would be 15 because it's just one more set of 5. Since 2 times 8 is 16, 3 times 8 would be 24 because I'm adding on another set of 8. Since 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 6 would be 18 because I'm adding on another set of 6. We can also look at the patterns of 3's on the times table. I'll start by counting by 3's. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and so on until I get all of my 3's circled. One group of 3 was 3, the next group of 3 is 6, 3 groups of 3 is 9, 4 groups of 3 is 12, and 5 groups of 3 is 15. And these are all different ways we can practice multiplying by 3. 